What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Derek. This is another dysfunctional review on the Elite playing cards and the Gold Standard playing cards from Richard Turner, both by Penguin Magic. Enjoy the review. Welcome back. I'm glad to see ya. You, 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 and you. Hope you guys have a happy new year. Let's get into two decks today. That's right. The Bicycle Elite and the Gold Standard cards from Richard Turner. Both available on PenguinMagic.com. Link will be down below in the description. So, let's first get into the gold standard cards ah yeah all right here they are these are the rider back gold standard cards from richard turner now for those of you who have may have been living under a brick for a while these cards are a standard for magicians okay now, let me give you a little background on Richard Turner. All right. He's an expert card manipulator and card mechanic. Um, he was also honored with a Golden Lion Award in Magic from Siegfried and Roy in 1982. And the Lynn Searles Award of Excellence in Card Manipulation. Okay. He also was the 2015 recipient of the Close-Up Magician of the Year Award from the Academy of Magical Arts. He, um, he also has a new documentary out right now, okay? It's called Delt, all right? It's this documentary about him and his background and everything about him, and it's a great movie. I actually got to watch it with my daughter. She actually enjoyed it. It's a great movie. It, you get to see a day in the life with Richard Turner and, you know, everything that he is and, and he's great. I mean, he's phenomenal. Um, and he's also an advisor slash touch analyst at the uh, United States Playing Card Company to evaluate texture and flexibility and cuts of different and dozens of decks per year. Okay, so he's the man. All right, and here's the kicker, and I know he doesn't like to be referred to as this, but it's the truth. He's blind. Yes, yes, yes. He is blind, okay? These cards here are amazing, all right? But we'll get into that in a second, all right? But if you want to do, if you guys do want to check out the movie Delt, that documentary, um, depending on your cable services, it's on demand. You can go also on iTunes and get it, um, Google Play, and I'm sure there's a couple other ones in there that I'm missing. But check it out. I would highly recommend it. It's a great, great movie. It's about an hour and a half longish. Believe me, you're not you're not gonna be upset. Okay, it's a great one. So anyway. Let's get into the tuck box of these, okay? First things first. Top poker, okay? These are the old retro slash classic tuck box that you're used to, okay? It has the rider back playing cards, bicycle along the top. Here along the side, air cushion finish made in the USA, okay? Here at the bottom, you got your barcode, bicycle 808. All right, poker, and here has the United States Playing Card Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, and on the back, this is the only downfall to this, all right, for this deck. And I don't have a sealed one with me right this moment, but when you get this deck, there's a gold sticker here, and it says traditionally cut for card experts, okay, um, and it has a gold seal, gold tuck seal on it. But this here, let me show you the cards that I'm comparing these to. Look at the back of the tuck box. 
All right, this is the only thing that kind of, look how like blurry that is and all the red, there's not really no white. Like this looks like a real card. So you could do a trick with this tuck box, no problem. I mean, you could do it with this one too, but the odds of somebody catching on, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's just, step it up. Don't get me wrong, I love these cards. I mean, I bought six decks when I first seen them. And you can also get these uh, in red and blue as of right now. I highly recommend these, okay? But let's go ahead, that was the tuck case. Now let's go ahead and check out the cards. <sighs> All right. Just a second ago, I said I didn't have a sealed one. Here's my sealed one, I had to go grab it. As you see here, like I said, it has the gold seal around it. Like I said, the gold thing here that says traditionally cut for the professional and your gold tuck seal as well to let you know that these are the gold standard cards from Richard Turner, okay? So there you go with that. Now, here's the cards, all right? First things first, you're gonna get an ad card Tested and approved by Richard Turner, okay? Ace of Spades card, Showdown Creations, The Cheat, all right? He used to do a lot of shows um, in a lot of different places um, as The Cheat. These are casino quality, traditional cut, and here at the bottom you can visit his site at www.richardturner52.com, okay? Highly recommend you go check out his site great great stuff over there and these cards are pretty much the the cards you're used to okay the classic um you know rider back cards but they're on a b stock so if you like b cards like i do i love to be i love b cards that's pretty much what you're getting so these cards are a little bit thicker they're gonna last you a lot longer so I'm telling you you're, you, you're not going to go wrong with these. On the other side of the ad card, you have a letter to Richard from Di Vernon. Okay. On the card it says, Having seen countless numbers of card experts execute for over 80 years, I consider Richard Turner to be for the most skillful. He performs the most difficult moves with the greatest ease. I doubt if anyone can equal him. Sincerely, Di Vernon, September 16th, 1987. Okay, so this is pretty much something you're gonna wanna keep with your deck. I do at least, it's kinda like a uh, certificate of authenticity, so to speak, all right, cause I collect decks of cards, but I always keep mine with my cards, okay? So you get that also too. You get a blank facer, okay? Blank facer. These cards are great, especially if you're a gaff guy and you can write whatever you want on there. You know, uh, please visit, you know, dysfunctional reviews on youtube.com. Um, leave a like, subscribe if you aren't. Uh, get, let's get to 100 subscribers so we can do this giveaway. Uh, you know, that, that's just me, but you know, that's up to you. So yeah. You get a blank facer. And other than that, guys, these cards are all standard all the way around. All standard pips and indices, the classic ace of spades, everything. Okay? These cards, like I said, all courts, everything are all standard. The only difference is compared to the standard, you know, bikes you're used to, these are traditionally cut, and they're on a way different Q1 stock, okay? So, that's it for that. How do they feel? Um, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> they're amazing. They, they dribble nice. They're really smooth on the edges compared to, you know, a lot of the, the bikes that you're used to right out the box. Um... You could probably, you know, smooth them out a bit, but I mean, that's something that breaking them in, I'm sure, will will take care of. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about in that sense. They fan great. Okay, definitely fan great. Um, 
like I said, they're traditionally cut, so that's the best part about these, because you can get these into a ferro like it's no tomorrow, okay? And they'll ferro from the top, they'll ferro from the bottom, they'll table ferro. They're just great overall cards. They're fantastic. No? You ain't no? Okay, alright. Anyway, so yeah, they, they'll spring great. Um, the feel is just amazing. So go ahead on to painwinmagic.com. Like I said, link will be down below. Get you a bunch of these. Get you six in red, six in blue. These are slowly, along with the cards that I'm about to show you, these are slowly becoming a standard, but a gold standard. Okay? So get you six in red, six in blue, and I'm telling you, you will not be sorry. Okay? You will not. So there's the Richards, Richard Turner Gold Standard Cards. Hope you guys liked it. Let's get into the next one. Thank you. Ah. Alright, here they are. Got a sealed one here just to show you a couple things to point out. Everything is pretty much the same as the tuck case I just showed you for the, you know, the Richard Turner deck. Only a couple things have changed. Real quick, I will show you a difference in the two as I go over it, okay? One, gold uh, cellophane, nothing on here, just the regular one you got, all right? Now, this, the elite cards are more vibrant, as you can already see. The playing cards, see the difference? This is more white, more popping, okay? Same with the bicycle. A lot brighter than the Richard Turners you have here. Even if you look at the Ace of Spades pip right here, this one's a lot more darker and kind of like, uh. This one's more vibrant and more clear, okay? And this, you know, like I said, this goes to the back. This goes to the back of the deck, all right? The Richard Turners, like I said, it's a lot of just blotchy redness, okay? This looks like a card. All right, and also no tuck seal. You got it. No tuck seal. These are sealed. All right, so that's another plus out the gate. So you can hide a card in the back of the case. Nobody would be the wiser. Okay. Now on the top, same thing. I know the camera doesn't do it any justice, but the red even on the top here. I'm sure you might be able to see it a little bit, but even the red on the elites are a lot more pow. It just pops, okay? But even the poker, see how the poker is? See if I compare them? The Elites is a lot brighter, once again. I mean, here on the side, that is the one thing that does separate these cards as well. The Elites have super thin premium stock, okay? They're not just air cushion, you know, finished. These come on an ultra thin um, luxury stock with elite embossed finish okay and they are traditionally cut same as the Richard Turner's um, but the design of these cards also it's resistant to developing that dreaded and um, warping you know or that clicking sound you get after you break in a deck of cards that happens after you know like humidity or whatever you're not going to get that with the Elite cards. It's not going to happen. Um, and once again, it's the same look you're used to. Okay? But it's not like anything you've ever felt. Not even these compared to these. Alright? And these are amazing cards. Don't get it wrong. These are great cards. But these here... Here, let me see if you can let me see if I can break this down to you here. All right, I'm gonna show you the the sound of shaking it. All right, ready? Hear how loose those cards are in there? Now watch. See that? That is a big difference. That means these cards are so thin, and I'm going to show you in a second. These are so thin, put it like this. 
I compared these two decks by themselves, card-wise. Alright. I was able to take... Or let me reword this. The regular gold standard Richard Turner cards, for being a pretty thin stock, are five and almost six cards thicker than the elites. Okay? That's a big difference, guys. All right, that's a huge difference to me. I mean, that's, you know, almost three double lifts. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a lot of differences here. Although the same in many ways, very, very different. Okay? So, without further ado, enough boring you with the tuck case. Let's get into the cards. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Woo. Now, there's a big difference here, all right? Right out the gate, super smooth, all right? Same look, of course, as you're used to, like I said, but not like anything you've ever felt. I mean, these cards, literally holding them. And I have, of course, the two Jokers in here, and I have two Gaff cards. Yes, two Gaff cards in here. And this deck still feels like I'm missing cards, all right? Still feels like I'm missing cards, but I'm not. So, what do you get with this deck? First, Blank Facer. All right, you do get a Blank Face Gaff card. Okay. Also, what you didn't get with the Richard Turner deck is a Double Backer. Okay, so you get a Blank Facer and a Double Backer. There are no ad cards in this, which is, you know, can be a plus if you're one of those guys. But also... You get the two duplicate jokers, but compared to the Richard Turner deck, which is just the two all black and white jokers, you get two colored jokers, okay? And I know to some that might not be a big deal, but, you know, just showing you the difference. I happen to like the colored jokers. I think they're pretty cool. So you get the two duplicate colored jokers as well. Other than that, same thing, guys. Everything else in this deck is completely standard, okay? Standard court, standard pip, standard indices, everything, okay? Like I said, these cards, literally, all right? Literally are just super thin. I can't stress it. I cannot stress it enough. These here, I would prefer any day over the Richard Turners. Now, I'm not putting the cards down whatsoever. That's my opinion. I happen to love the Richard Turners, like I said, but I also had to get me a bunch of these too because these are just amazing. I only have mine in red right now. They just dropped these a couple months ago, I think like three or four months ago. I think it was like, yeah, it was about three or four months ago. They dropped them in blue, so I'm going to be hopefully getting a couple blue decks here soon. Um, so yeah, go get you these. These are great. Like I said, for when I'm t when you take two cards and put them together, I mean, you're pretty much you know, that's pretty much one card from the Richard Turner deck. I mean, it's crazy the difference. They dribble great. The just the sound and the feel and the comfortability of these cards. They just slide so with ease and comfort and, oh, and the fanning on these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's, it's just, I mean, honestly, look at that. It's just, oh, I wish you could feel these right now. And like I said, they're traditionally cut. Same thing as the Richard Turners, okay? So, like I said, you want a Pharaoh? Okay, cool. There you go. Boom. With ease. Okay? With complete ease. Spring. Great. They still keep form. Like I said, with the 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 way the stock and stuff is made with that ultra thin premium stock and whatever they else they did with this to help prevent that clicking sound, that clink, 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 clink. I have new decks that make that sound. So... I'm excited about that. 
So I highly recommend, like I said, once again, guys, go down to Penguin Magic, tell them I sent you. They're probably not going to know who I am, but it sounds good. So link will be down below for Penguin. They're a great company. I highly recommend them. Them guys over there have some of the greatest customer service I've ever seen. They take care of you. They're prompt. They're very professional. They're a great company. You can go there for cards. You can go there for your magic stuff. You can go there for different videos. Um, so go ahead up there. Make you an account. Get yourself started. And yeah. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. It definitely helps with everything going on right now. And I appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate it. If you go ahead and subscribe down there, you'll see the button there. Yep. Go ahead and subscribe. I will be doing monthly giveaways. Right now, I'm waiting to do my first one once again, which will be the brand new Amazon Echo Dot and a deck of cards. Okay? But... I'm not doing my first one. If you've seen the last video, which was on the emotions and the tragic royalty deck, you will see I said at the end, I want to get to my first 100 subscribers before I do my first giveaway. So let's get me there, guys. Share the video. Tell a friend. Tell your dog. Tell your girlfriend. Whoever it is, let's get it. All right? That's it for me. Hope you guys have a happy new year. Be safe out there, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.